Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new unboxing video of Dell E64 20 14 inch refurbished laptop. Let's get started. Oh look, it's a box in a box. Very fancy. Oh look, another box in a box in a box. Oh, never mind, this is a laptop. I'm gonna have to be very honest about this. The actual boxing that they have done along with the fact that there is no brochure, instructional manual, or even a warranty paper, even though they did specify that there is a year's warranty on it, it actually makes me very skeptical about this. Check out my skills here. This is what we have so far in the box. Let's take a closer look at it. This is the charging adapter that it comes with. On the front, we have the button to open the laptop and right beside it, there is a memory card slot. The top is some kind of metal material, which feels very strong. It's mainly designed for business purposes and it's kind of like a magnet for fingerprints. So you might want to be very careful about this. On the side, we have the LED indicators and this is how it looks like from inside. This particular one has Intel i5 2.5 gigahertz processor in it, along with super awesome Windows 7. The keyboard buttons are very accessible and very easy to use, very soft to the touch as well. We have the default latitude name on the side. It also has a touchpad with multi-touch gesture features on it. This very cool looking orange line goes around the keyboard which adds onto the outlooks of the laptop. The palm rest is rubberized which is basically a huge quality improvement because it feels so good. On the right side we have a removable optical drive, DVD burner, express card slot, wireless on and off, USB ports. On the back, we have HDMI cable slot, power port, ethernet port. We also have a mini HDMI port on the side as well. I haven't seen it in any of the other business laptops. So this one is the first one along with a headphone microphone jack. Let's turn it on. While it's turning on, let me give you an overview of what kind of laptop it is. It's not a gaming laptop. However, if you upgrade it enough, it will be able to run some, if not all of the games that you want to play in a regular quality. Not so good though. It's basically meant to be a business use laptop, specifically for companies that want to give a new laptop to their employees every two or three years. And that is why this laptop is very similar to the older models because they mostly reuse their features. It doesn't come in the box with 100% battery, so you might want to have to charge it. Go through the process of activating the initial steps as any other laptop. You might want to have to register your windows as well. Mm -hmm. 
but since on the screen it says it's not a genuine copy i am extremely skeptical about this now to a point where i just want to return it let's just have a look at what's inside of it so you can have all the details on the screen because i have opened it for you That is all I have for you awesome people today. I hope you guys like this video. Please hit that like button down below. Leave a comment about what you have to say about this laptop if you own it. Whatever you do, do not forget to smile and pass it on to others. This is TJHD signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.